Okay. Are we streaming? Are we live? I don't think we're live yet. It's saying it's it was live. It says live on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Meeting is now streaming. <laughs> awesome. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So, oh my goodness. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we're um, live so interesting because i don't see um i mean here we are but i'm not seeing um you know comments or anything like that um, um jill brooks is saying hi hi jill oh you see that hey, yes jill. yes we oh, are I'm live gonna, i'm gonna go to my page <laughs> so I'm gonna... okay yeah i think i'm on your page and oh, i'm gonna I'm going to start sharing to my page here as people are coming on here. Yeah. Hi, Jill. <laughs> Yay. I love that you're here, Jill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, I see us. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, all right. So, I am Janet Raftus, and I am an energy healer, psychic medium, divine feminine channel, and I'm here with one of my dearest, most beloved friends and colleagues, Ina Lucas. Can you tell me about yourself, tell them about yourself. Hi. <laughs> I'm hugging you. Um, my name is Ina, and I channel a collective called The Alchemist, and um, and I'm also a shamanic healer, do deep channeled energy work. And, um, and Janet and I have been dear, dear friends and colleagues for several years. And it's just so good to be live here with you, honey. <laughs> I know. So, you know, it's been a journey for us getting here. <laughs> <laughs> a technical one, along with the spiritual one. <laughs> That's right. But we're live now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're super grateful to be with you all. Um, so we wanted to um, give you all a little bit of an energy update and talk about um, some of the things that we're doing together and how we can support you with the energies that are coming in because there's some exciting stuff happening at the beginning of January that we are super thrilled to be working with. Um, so Ina, do you want to share a little bit about what's coming up? Yeah, well, we are lining up with a whole series of um, of incredibly supportive celestial events, <laughs> um, uh, including the the new moon that's coming up this week. And but what we want to focus on here is um, the full moon that's happening um, in January. Um, the uh, the full moon, there is a full moon lunar eclipse on January 10th. It's a in cancer. In cancer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, so that full moon in January is the first full moon of the decade. And, and it's a big one. I mean, talk mm -hmm. about, talk about um, planetary shifting coming into the new decade. So the powerful thing about what's happening on um, on January 10th is that at 8.48 p.m. on January 10th, Uranus goes direct in Taurus. And um, and do you want to say a little bit about that, yeah, Janet? Sure, sure. I, this is like really exciting. So Uranus is like this rebellious planet. It's like wants to get in there and like shake everything up. And Taurus, and I totally get this because my moon is in Taurus. Taurus is like, no, let's just like keep things the way they are. Let's just be chill, safe and cozy at home. And Uranus is like, no. <laughs> And so Uranus is like our security, our safety, right? And so what this is doing is that this Uranus coming in is really going to be shaking up financial paradigms. And something that we learned about this was that this, is, this has not happened since just after World War II, when a lot of the financial paradigms of um, the world were like, were completely upended. Like that was when like social you know, welfare systems changed, like there were like massive shifts in the way that 
the planet dealt with 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 money and welfare and so forth and so on and so we're coming into another time frame like that it's huge yeah. it's huge so this is major financial paradigm change and i love that it's happening within 10 days of the new decade coming in mm -hmm. and all that we've been clearing out like we're in such a deep clearing period right now like not just not just ending and clearing this past year but like this past decade totally. <laughs> and so for me what i love about astrology and celestial events is really using them as using those portals and using those moments when stars and moons take <laughs> different action, when planets align, um, to, to use those portals to come together um, in ceremony so that we're actually amplifying. And it's almost like the universe is giving us this, this underneath boost to take whatever our intentions are and amplify them and magnify them. Yeah, absolutely. And so that was something that we were so excited about when we originally when we were going to do we're, we're coming together for a workshop, because we really wanted to work we were going to originally work with the 111 portal and then we started looking into it and we were like, Oh, holy crap, there's so much going on. Like we started getting really excited about this. Right? Because we're like, it's a full moon, it's the full moon, and it's this major financial paradigm sh shifter, but it's also a lunar eclipse right. like that same night. So Friday night is like full moon, lunar eclipse, and eclipses <laughs> just bring up all the stuff. All the stuff, <laughs> all the stuff <laughs> coming up <laughs> in the eclipse. And so Janet and, and I are like, all right, like we're coming together. Like we are coming together this weekend because this is a huge weekend. And how do we want to kick off? our decade, like what would be the most powerful way for us to come together and really create a powerful decade and take advantage of this amazing weekend. Mm -hmm. And um, so Friday night, as the as Uranic, Uranus goes direct in Taurus and as the moon is eclipsing and becoming full, um, we are doing a Friday night three hour fire ceremony. <laughs> it's all about fire. <laughs> We are going to be burning. <laughs> we are going to be burning stuff up. So we're bringing a group of people together uh, Friday night and Saturday all day uh, doing a workshop called Igniting the Fires of Sacred Abundance. That's really, that was the consciousness that came through for this workshop is yeah. igniting the fires of sacred abundance. So we're starting off Friday night. Friday night at 7 p.m. and doing so with the with the and the first night is going to be all release work. It's going to be like, what is the stuff that we need to burn, release, get rid of? Like, what is the stuff that we don't want to bring into this new paradigm? Right? Like, even in defining like what uh, creating a paradigm is a huge potential for shift. Right? So, how can we get really clear on? what we want to release and then really clear on what we're going to use the 111 energies to amplify all day the next day <laughs> essentially right so january 11th 111th that's a code portal on saturday and so after we've spent friday night doing all that amazing alchemy with fire and i mean what janet and i have planned it's just like we just keep getting like goosebumps and <laughs> lightning bolts going through us we're like oh, i can't wait <laughs> to bring on the fire um so then saturday we're gonna be going deep and we'll have like gotten out all that crusty crud and mm -hmm. um and then we're really opening up into that 111 portal of what are we creating, not just in 2020, but like in the next decade and in the new paradigm and in creating a new earth? I mean, ultimately, really, this is like, this is powerful, powerful people coming together to create a new earth. And when we come together in ceremony with such an intention in that way, we're activating all this DNA, we're activating our soul lineages together. And so it's so much bigger than us. Like the human part of us gets to have so much fun coming <laughs> together and doing this with our sisters and brothers and and creating that sacred space together. But but it's so not 
about just our own bank accounts. Like it's not about us having our head in our own stuff. It's yes, we have to clear our head in our bank accounts. We have to clear financial stuff and, and all of that older energy that really is coming up to be cleared right now. But ultimately we're coming together to do big work. Yeah. To do big exactly. work and to, and to create holy action in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what is that too, right? Because I mean, this is, we are focusing on financial paradigms and all of that, but when we come together, what happens is that there's an activation that's far deeper than that, right? It's like activating abundance codes within us. And yes, that does translate. I mean, one of the great side effects of that is that it translates to money in the bank account, but it's, it's it is much deeper than that, right? It's mm -hmm. those activate that the abundance codes within us that is how we find abundance in in the mundane right in our day-to-day -day and in our relationships and in our work and in you know in anything in, in in washing the dishes right because it's it's an energy that is within us it's something that and as we activate it that we go into that expansion energy and we expand into that abundance and then that translates into all of this other goodness <laughs> in the rest of our lives including the bank account <laughs> exactly exactly yeah oh my god i just have goosebumps <laughs> <laughs> i know it's gonna be so much fun and um so i'm just looking over at some of the comments here and i have to click back and forth i see erica erica is coming she's super excited jill also with the <laughs> fires there hey stan it's a very auspicious weekend it is this is um this was one of those things when we when we put when we added it all up when we put it all together like we were like there's no way we can't do something here and for us it has a personal note too because this is us starting our like project together which is sacred activation journeys which um some of you know about we are doing an amazing sacred um valley retreat in peru going to machu picchu and doing activations down there and other sacred sites down there and so for us too there's there's this element of us coming together and having and even though we've known each other for so long and have done personal work together we um this is our like this is our launch too <laughs> our kickoff party <laughs> <laughs> this is um, our super exciting too so this is us too like really being so intentional in how we start our new decade right like this is something that we feel so alive within us and so that we want to nurture and that we want to activate we want to be able to continue to move forward with and so to do this and to bring together a group of powerful people who are also on the same path and who also are open and and to have the energy of everybody all together magnifying and amplifying and everything it's like this amazing like fertile ground right the, and and as people come in it becomes more and more fertile and so one thing like when Ina was saying like we we get goosebumps and all this stuff is happening it's like part of that is because the energy is being amplified already the consciousness of the workshop and the retreat and all of the things are being amplified already the healing is already starting the, the paradigm shifting is already starting as you come into this energy the there is no time and space and so it's already the juju is already working <laughs> the juju is already working <laughs> it is it is and that's the amazing thing about the juju already working is that when we actually, because so much pre-work is done, mm -hmm. when we actually come together in person, those two days together will have actually done like a year's worth of work. Yeah. yeah. You know, like the, the healing and the activating and the clearing that's going to happen in that magnified, in that magnifying space is going to be like, like a retreat in and of itself. I mean, it's going to be so, I mean, I just, I, I like, I just have energy running through me and I just have to say that it's extraordinary um, to be working with Janet because she and I are both so intentional. So anytime we talk together, anytime we create a workshop, a retreat, a space together, it's Janet and I in our highest versions of ourselves being so intentional in the frequency of the people that we're drawing in, in our tribe and what the bigger picture is. Like we're so tuned into spirit and there's so much love and consciousness in the curation and co-creation of these workshops that 
that just that in and of itself, like the way Janet and I work in that non-physical and physical realm together is a consciousness in and of itself that comes together. And, and like, I, I, I I, I don't even know what's going to happen this week, and I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's been so powerful and impactful for us, to, it, even exploring it together, leading in. It just, and it's so, so, so special. Um, usually, after talking to Ina, like, this is what happens. I'm sweaty, and <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and knowing that um, um, I just want to that Ina has to jump off in a second so um, Erica is saying is there anything you'd recommend that we do in the upcoming 1226 new moon to set the stage for the 111 full moon ceremony mm -hmm. um, yeah like this would be a great time to start thinking about what you want your intentions to be and to start planting those seeds what do I want to release what do I want to grow um, really tuning in yeah and this so it's a new moon and with a new moon uh that is the beginning of the lunation cycle right and so that is the seed planting and so this new moon is a lunation cycle that is ending 2019 and bringing us into 2020 so so and the full moon is uh, that we're on january 10th is that halfway point of release of, so whatever intention you're setting on this new moon, um, the full moon is the release of that intention. So it's a it's a full you know 28 day moon cycle that's crossing over the two decades. Mm -hmm. So so the way I love to work with new moons is to create a simple I am like a a, a presencing statement. And so who is it that you're becoming? What is it that you're creating in 2020? And because we're coming in on this new moon. So you can bring intention in that way so that the full moon release is all that is not a match to this new moon intention that you're setting. Yeah, that's a beautiful way to work with it. Absolutely. Thank you, Erica, for that question. I'm so excited that you're going to be there and I'm so excited that you're going to meet Ina. Yay! <laughs> so awesome. <Atlanta> tribe. <laughs> and people are flying in. So like, get your tickets. Come join up. How do you want to create your, your 2020? Like what's, you know, what's a way that honors where you are, who you've been, who you're becoming, creating new paradigms? Yeah. 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 This is, and if you're coming to Peru with us, oh, what were yeah, you? Yeah, you get yeah, you get a, a little a little discount. Discount. <laughs> <laughs> you get a discount if you come <laughs> to Peru with us <laughs> in March. Yes, yeah, so in March we're going to be in the equinox, the spring equinox, um, in in Machu Picchu, and the which will be the fall equinox Peru. there because we'll be on the other side of the world. So yeah. we're bringing together a collective tribe of activators to um, to come together in that space. So we're just drawing in. We're just drawing in our team yeah. of activators. And um, I am going to need to hop off because I have another call. Um, <laughs> that I'm leading yeah. in two minutes. So, so I will look at the comments. And if anybody wants to put anything in there, I'll make sure that um, I answer them. And um, I also put the link for the workshop. This is a destination workshop. I mean, it's going to, it's a mini retreat really is what's going on here. And it's going to be super potent. So if you want to travel, we would love to have you too. And um, yeah. Awesome. I'm so excited. I love you. Hey, hey Toby. <laughs> I just saw you here. Yay. Good. Thank you, everybody. Bye. I love you, Janet. <laughs> Happy new decade. <laughs> Bye.